An undercover Israeli strike squad infiltrated a protest after rocks were hurled at soldiers during a Trump riot on the outskirts of Ramallah. Security forces in disguise moved into action during the protest by around 100 to 150 Palestinians near a military checkpoint in the occupied West Bank. An Israeli undercover cop arrests a protester in the West Bank town of Ramallah. This cop wore a Palestinian flag headscarf to infiltrate the protesters. The rioters also burned a fake pig with President Trump's face on it. The undercover agents are referred to by Palestinians. As must Arabian medics on the scene said three Palestinians had been injured during the protests. Israeli forces regularly carry out such operations against stone-throwing protests. Israel's military said forces including an undercover unit carried out the operation during what it called a violent riot. It said Palestinians threw stones and firebombs at its forces while rolling burning tires. Three people were arrested, it said in a statement. Israeli forces regularly carry out such operations against stone-throwing protests in which agents pretend to be demonstrators before turning on the crowd. Such agents are referred to by Palestinians as must Arabin, a word used to refer to those who disguise themselves as Arabs. Israel's military said forces including an undercover unit carried out the operation today's protest was part of the clashes to have occurred in recent days armed soldiers also moved in to help disperse the crowds today's protest was part of the clashes to have occurred in the Palestinian territory since Trump's controversial statement on December 6. Four Palestinians have been killed so far in clashes or Israeli airstrikes in response to rocket fire from Gaza. In the West Bank city of Hebron on Wednesday, hundreds of Palestinians threw stones at Israeli soldiers, who responded with tear gas, rubber bullets and fire. Eight people were wounded by rubber bullets and two by fire. Another 3,000 people demonstrated in the northern West Bank city of Nablus, carrying banners reading No State Without Jerusalem. We came out to tell that idiot Trump that, you don't own Jerusalem to gift it to Israelis and settlers, said Talal Dwaikat of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas Fatah. Hundreds later went to an Israeli checkpoint and clashed with Israeli soldiers. Jerusalem's status is perhaps the most sensitive issue in the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Israel sees the entire city as its capital, while the Palestinians want the eastern sector as the capital of their future state.